Hi everybody! Today I am going to show how I make some snowmen beads and I'm showing three different techniques uh, for three different types of snowmen and my website is now up and running so you could check it out at JeannieCoxGlass.com or you can always find me through Facebook. So the first thing I'm going to do for these snowmen is prep a little stringer for their um, little scarves that they wear. And I don't need a lot of glass, so I'm just going to make a little tiny, kind of chunky paddle because I want the white defined line between the colors. So I have it a little thick there. And um, on either side of the flat paddle, I'm going to add either red glass or blue glass. And of course you can use whatever colors you want. You don't even need the, the center to be white. You can have that whatever color you want also. And this is just a simple twisted stringer um, to create a little scarf design. And so it's very similar to the ribbon cane stringer, except for um, with the ribbon cane, um, once you add the color on, that's also um, a flat paddle. And then you add the bunch of clear around it so it looks like a ribbon inside the clear. And this is um, similar of how to make it, but it's not the same because there's no clear. So it's just a solid red, white, and blue twisty. And so this is going to be their little scarves, and I'm just going to punty up with another white rod. And I'm going to heat all this up and just pull it out into a really skinny stringer because um, the snowmen are small and their scarves are even smaller <laughs> so uh, you don't need it really thick and you don't want it really thick you want it pretty thin and I think it's only like a one millimeter stringer or something like that one to one and a half millimeter and so my my white was getting really soupy there even with residual heat um, but I had enough torque to be able to pull out this stringer, so I just went ahead and did it. And I'm, I'm wafting it in and out of the flame there just so that I could keep it um, soft enough to make it thin enough uh, for my liking for these snowmen. And so I have a nice thin little twisty. Red light little twisty. So that'll be, for all three of those snowmen, I'll use that twisty. So the first snowman I'm going to make is a three snowball snowman. And I'm just going to form the little bumps along the mandrel, one at a time. And first I start with the bottom. And like a lot of my other animal beads or what have you, I actually taper my glass up towards the top. So there's kind of like a sharp end sticking out. If I would have left that it as a bead, it would be a sharp end at the top there. Um, but that's just so I can attach the next ball of glass without really having a lot of air bubbles in it. So it's just the way I do it. You don't have to do it that way. And so once I get my bottom hole nicely defined, um, I'm adding a little more glass to make um, the ball size I feel like I want for this snowman. So it's all up to you. And you also don't have to do three humps. You could do two humps on your snowman. And my next snowman will be uh, a two hump snowman, um, but I will flatten that one. So um, so it's all up to you. Um, so I'm making my next ball now. And so I'm just putting on the balls one at a time, um, trying not to melt one into the other one, um, which sometimes happens. I'm using just regular ephedra white, which is really uh, soupy, as a lot of you lamp workers might know. Um, if I would have used piece white, it might have been a little bit stiffer and a little easier to control. So um, you might want to use that glass if you have an issue with heating and, you know, being able to shape, you know, because it's too soupy, the white's too soupy. Um, you might want to try piece white. It's a an, it's an stiffer white. So I'm just shaping the, the middle ball. And I'm leaving that tapered edge. You see it like the top kind of looks like a cone. So it's ready to accept the, um, the head section. 
And, I, and then I'm redefining, you see there, because the white was getting soupy, even with just resi residual heat. I wasn't, I'm not heating the bottom ball, but it still melds in a little bit. And so I'm redefining that um, section, the separation section. And you can do that with a tool or with the side of your marver like I, I did there. So either way. So um, I'm going back and adding a little more glass to my bottom section because um, trying to uh, round out the middle section, it made the bottom section seem too small. And so I'm just adding a little more glass. So it's whatever, however you want your snowman to look, really. And now I'm going to add the head section. So now this one, um, you don't have to have it fully rounded at the top because we are going to add the hat on the top. So you don't really have to worry too much about that top hole. Not yet, not until we get the hat on. But you want to have the ball um, wide enough or, or long enough so that you can fit in your little eyes and your carrot nose at the end. So you want to make sure there's enough room there because this is a, like a little small head. It's only, I don't know, maybe um, six, six or eight millimeters uh, round there. Um, so it's pretty small and once you get the hat on the top that takes away some of the, the face area. Um, so you want to make sure you have enough room even after the hat. And so I pretty much have my three balls defined there. And now I'm going to add the brim area of the hat. And so I'm just at the very top, but not all the way down at the mandrel. It's actually up higher. Um, I'm adding just a little trail of glass around there for the top of that, the brim of the hat, actually. And so I'm just melting that in and then kind of flattening it down so it kind of goes against the, the glass, the white glass, but it kind of also stays sticking out. So now I'm going to add um, a little more glass here um, to make the top of the hat. So this is going to be butted up right against the rim. It's kind of hard to see here, but it's actually on the mandrel. It's not um, touching that uh, the top of that rim part. It's only touching the bottom part and the top head of the snowman. And now I'm just trying to round that out, skinny it up a little bit and elongate it a little bit down the mandrel. And I'm also defining that top hole to make a nice dimpled hole because I'm kind of spreading it upwards along the mandrel. So I'm just rounding it out and trying to smooth it out and straighten it out a little bit. It's not totally straight. It's a little crooked. Now you want to make sure you still give a little heat to your snowman in general. I'm straightening out the hat a little bit more. And I have my stringer ready for my um, scarf. So I'm going to round this hat out a little bit more. I'm not happy with it. <laughs> so I'm keeping that warm a little bit. And now I'm going to add um, the little dots of uh, coal or his little buttons and I'm adding one on the bottom bump and two on the center one and then I'm putting little eyeballs and I'm trying to get those all melded in a little bit and now I'm going to add the scarf and what I do is I start down the bead a little bit and then I come up to his neck come around and then go back down across the uh, other ribbon so it looks like the the scarf is crossing in the front and it's hanging down like there's a knot there and it's hanging down and I will do this in um, my other snowmen too so hopefully if you kind of missed it here you can see it better in the next one but now I'm going to add his little carrot nose. And sorry my hair gets in the picture there. But I'm just adding a dot at first. And I want to make sure that's nicely melded in. And I'm also trying to meld in that scarf to make sure it's um, nice and attached and half melded. 
and now I'm just pulling out a little stubby point. You don't need a big point. You don't want it to break off. And there is your little snowman. He's There's number one. Just going to heat that dot a little bit again at the bottom. It wasn't quite melted in. You don't want undercuts on your dots. So I'm kind of making sure it's halfway melded there on the bottom. And there he is. So now the second snowman, I'm making a long barrel on one side. I'm adding a lot of glass and on the other side I'm going to add a little bit of glass. So one, one side will be the body and one side will be the head. So I basically started this one with just a long barrel to define how long or how tall I want my snowman. And of course that's without the hat on the top. <laughs> So I'm getting that bottom area melted and you wanna make sure your hole is um, nice and dimpled there. The top, you don't have to worry about the hole because we are gonna put the hat. And so I'm just getting the size that I want. And because I am going to flatten this, um, I don't want it totally a ball shape. I want it more of a barrel shape because when it flattens out, it will become round. So you want to make sure it's not quite a ball because I am flattening it. So I'm just putting on the top hat part of the hat, making sure that seam with the white is totally fused together. You want to make sure the white and the black are all one. And now I'm reheating that bottom section and then I'm going to melt in the head section. Getting, getting my holes all nice and dimpled there. And now we're working on the head. So see, it's not a total ball shape. You can see it's like an elongated, more of an elongated shape. Because when I flatten it, it will squish out and make more of a ball shape. So I'm just getting that head melted a little bit. And now I'm gonna flatten this. Want to make sure it's soft enough to flatten and just squish. I'm looking straight down the mandrel so I could see it. And so there I have a little uh, two hump flattened snowman. And so I'm just evening out. I want to try, I'm trying to even out the uh, little balls so they look even with each other. And now I'm going to add the ribbon. See, I start down and then I go up to the neck and then I come over and come down around over that first ribbon to make the little scarf. And so I think it was a little easier to see in this one. And so now I'm just kind of flattening those down. You want to make sure this scarf is melted in um, and fused with that snowman. You don't want any undercuts really and and you don't want it to pop off later. So I'm making sure that's nice and melted. And now I'm going to add the little brim of his hat. And you can make this, of course, as wide or as low key as you want. And I was a little off there, so I'm using my tool to push that hat up a little bit. And now I'm just defining it and making sure I'm pushing it in with the white so that it gets fused with the white, but it still looks like a brim sticking out. So that's why I'm like tapping it down there. And I'm adding a little more glass. I'm trying to fix the brim. It was a little, uh, little short or not sticking out enough on one side. So I'm trying to even that out a little bit. So you can always add glass or even remove glass if you have too much or too little. I'm just pushing that down along the white so it looks like a nice top hat. And I'm just defining the top again because it got a little warm and melted. And so now I'm going to add just two little dots for the little buttons, or I don't know if it's coal or buttons here. I'm just going to add two little dots there, and then two little dots for his eyes. 
And so I'm trying to push those in. I want those eyes melted in, but I'm trying not to melt the hat brim down. Um, you probably could have put the hat brim on afterwards, um, but you might have actually melted in the eyes a little too much. But I got my eyes defined now, and the last thing to do is to put on the little nose. And so like the last time, I put a dot first, make sure that's nicely melded in, and I kind of smooshed it there to even it out a little bit, and then I just pull it out a little bit of a nub, doesn't have to come out far, to create the little carrot nose. And there is that guy. And then the last one I'm going to make is actually a snowman on the surface of the bead. And it's like a profile of a snowman. So he's going to be sideways. And I have chalky white, but I make it work. So I just have a base of um, blues that are just swirled. And for the bottom hump of the snowman, I'm just going to put a large dollop of glass there and kind of smash it down to the width or the largeness I want. And so it's a little bit raised. Um, and then I'm going to add the next dot. So you want to actually define each dot first. If you try to put all these dots on together at the same time, they will meld together and make like one big glob. But if you melt down one circle dot first, then the next one, you'll actually keep the definition of the three snowman humps. So now I just add another dot of black for the top hat. And I use my razor blade. You can use whatever tool you have there, but a razor blade or a knife blade is um, the best. A nice thin blade. Um, and I'm just squaring it up so it looks like a top hat. I'm trying to square it up there. So I melt, push it down kind of flat, and then square it up and get those edges. And so I define that. And then I have a little stringer of black here. And I'm going to put the little dots on for this, the snowman uh, buttons. And I only put two on this one also, on the middle, on that center ball of white. And then I put an eyeball, which was probably a mistake because I, di I didn't put on the brim yet of the hat or his um, little scarf. Um, so I had to fix that later. So I'm starting off the bead, uh, off the snowman, onto the side of the bead for the little scarf. So I have it like flowing behind him. And I pull that excess off the front and so that I could push it around his neck a little bit. So here I'm fixing the eye. I'm pulling off the eye because it totally melded in and got soupy and mushed up. So I'm fixing that eye, and then I'm going to do the brim of the hat. And so I just put, <clears throat> or am I doing, I'm fixing his eye. I'm putting on a new eye, I think. And now I'm just like pulling out the little scarf bits to make them kind of like flowing in the wind. And I put down a little dollop of orange right in the front so he's looking sideways it's on the side of that um, white and then I just pull that out into a point I didn't get a really good shaped carrot nose this time but now I'm going to add the brim so I'm adding one dot to either side of the hat and then just putting a line down the center connecting those two dots to make like the little brim so it's a pretty simple um, way to make a little hat. And so this bead, I didn't have it shaped really well at the bottom, but I didn't care because I knew I was going to be adding white. So I'm going to add a snow base like the snowman is sitting in snow. And so I usually add a little snow colored base to the bottom. So I add this white and then I'll add little dots on the surface to make it seem like, you know, puffy, varied snow there. And that will be completing my snowman bead. And I usually don't add a lot of dots to the back because I like it smoother on the back, but you can add dots all the way around. 
and you can create you can add uh, another design to the back sometimes I put trees on the back of these so I have a snowman and a tree bead all in one so and that's basically the last snowman I hope you enjoyed thanks so much for watching